First question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. KT, you get things going with the scoring against Morton. Was he just trying to sneak a high fastball by you? And how were you guys able to be so effective with him early on? Uh, yeah, I got down uh, in a one-two count there and um, really just trying to battle and uh, work a good at bat. And he threw a fastball up in the zone and um, was able to get above it and, and um, get some good wood on it. So uh, I thought we did a really good job against him tonight, uh, battling him, making him work, making him throw a lot of pitches. Um, and that's that's kind of the MO of our offense when we do that. Um, you know, we can create some havoc on the bases. You have 11 postseason home runs. You are now tied with Duke Snyder as far as a postseason record with the long ball. What does that mean to you? It means I've uh, had the opportunity to play on a lot of really good baseball teams uh, who played deep in October, and I've gotten a lot of ABs. So um, obviously something that you know I don't, I don't think I ever thought about or ever crossed my mind, but um, something that's pretty cool that you know I can talk about. Uh, when I'm done playing, but it doesn't mean a whole lot until we, we finish this thing off and, and we win two more games. So, thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Justin, in, in past postseasons, runners in scoring position and two out situations have uh, been a problem for this offense, but this year you guys are thriving in those. Why the change? Uh, I don't know. I, I think baseball is uh, a crazy game, and um, sometimes uh, that's just the way it goes. And we've been really good with two outs. We've been really good with two strikes, I think. I think we've uh, put together tough ABs and battles and got a lot of two-strike hits as well. So um, just a credit to the guys uh, digging in and, and fighting and battling and uh, not trying to do too much, trying to move the ball forward and, and put something in play, and then good things happen. Thank you. Next question is from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Yeah, Justin, I, I know you're uh, quick to defer credit to your teammates, but really since the beginning of your career, you're somebody who's been the same hitter when the calendar turns to October year after year, series after series. Not everybody can do that. You can. Is, is there some trick? And it, was somebody an example for you earlier in your career about how to prepare for playoff games? Uh, I don't, I don't think it's a trick and I don't think, uh, you know, this, this postseason in particular uh, hasn't necessarily been that great for me personally. Um, but I've been grinding away and working with our hitting guys and trying to get good feels and uh, finally felt a little better tonight um, and was able to put together five good at bats. I've, uh, you know, had a few little blips uh, once or twice a game where, I felt like I, I felt normal and then, you know, I, I, I'd lose it. And tonight was really the first time all postseason. I felt like I, I was able to put together five good ones. Next question from Ken Davidoff. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, by now it's, it's well known about your, your swing overhaul after uh, you went from the Mets to the Dodgers. But how do you explain your success now? I mean, this, you're about to turn 36 and, and you're still an elite, elite hitter. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just preparation and repetition and not afraid to make adjustments from pitch to pitch or AB to AB and uh, just knowing, I guess, what's right and what doesn't feel right and then being able to switch gears. And like I said, I've, I've changed a lot of stuff. I've, I've made adjustments throughout this entire postseason. And uh, finally tonight, I feel like I, I landed on something that um, – should be sustainable and, and felt pretty good. Next question from Martin Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Justin, you guys have been a lot better and not relying on the home runs than even just this regular season. Um, I'm wondering how much of that might be a reaction to this ballpark, which obviously is a really big park. It's hard to hit a home run here where you guys just sort of adjusted and said, all right, maybe we need to do it a different way here. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's ever, um, I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say anyone, but we probably have guys that, that go up there and try to launch. But for the most part, I think guys are in there trying to get good pitches and, and just trying to hit the ball as hard as they can. And um, Sometimes they go over the fence. Obviously, not as many go over the fence here because it's a bigger yard. Um, but we've done a really good job of, of finding barrels and, and hitting balls hard. And when you do that, you have a, a better chance to, to get hits. Next question from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead. Justin, I realize that two wins might be 
far away, but also after winning two games, do you, does your mind wander at all to the place where it might feel like to win four games in the series? Absolutely not. Um, we know how difficult this is. We know uh, there's still a lot of work to do in front of us. Um, you know, personally, we were down 3-1 in the last series and, and fought and clawed our way back. Uh, so you don't take anything for granted. You um, assess how tonight went and, and come back tomorrow, and make whatever adjustments you need to make and, and go back to grinding away and finding a way to win a ball game tomorrow. Next question from David Waldstein. Go ahead. Hey, Justin. Uh, Austin Barnes was saying that um, this might be the best stuff that he's ever seen from Walker. And I was just wondering what you, what you saw from your position behind him. Well, Barnsley's caught him a lot, and, and Walker's had some really good outings for us, especially in the postseason. So that's that's saying a lot, and uh, I would have to agree with him. I mean, the the command, the fastball command was incredible. Um, and just the way he pitches and attacks and how aggressive he is going right at guys. And, um, you know, he'll mix in a cutter or slider or, or mix in a curveball to lefties. But, I mean, he pitches with his fastball, and, and he's aggressive with it. And um you know it, it is what it is he, he you know he's gonna throw it and he says hit it if he can and uh he got a lot of swings and misses with it tonight next question from jack harris go ahead justin you know obviously you want to go up there producing every time but are you able to go to the plate a, a little freer right now compared to postseason's past just given how many other guys in the lineup are locked in uh, no, I, I mean, you still want to, you still want to produce and you still want to get results. And I mean, um, but like I said earlier, I think tonight was the first night I, I felt like I put together five good at bats. So, um, that's a good feeling and that's a freer feeling going into tomorrow. Um, you know, knowing, you know, the adjustments and changes that I made, I think are sustainable and, and, uh, you know, I'll sleep a little better at night and, and hopefully, uh, show up tomorrow and, and keep working on it and trying to hone it. How thankful have you been to, you know, see the, the things that you guys have had to go through this year going back, even when you had to, you know, kind of beef up some of the, the safety rules and things like that, just to for you guys to be able to, to overcome all that and get to this stage and now be where you are right now. Um, you know, is this kind of a unique feeling? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, there was a point uh, during the shutdown where, you know, I was on a lot of those phone calls and I wasn't sure if, if we were even going to get to start a season, uh, let alone make it to the postseason and, and be here in a World Series um, just because, uh, you know, all the stuff that's going on in, in the world right now. So um, just proud of, you know, the players and the staff and, and all the work that has gone into um, protocols and being responsible and making good decisions and making right choices to ensure that, you know, we're able to have a season and, and we're able to have this postseason uh, playing in a bubble and, and um, you know, be here today playing in the World Series. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, you call on. I mean, Justin, you said five uh, good at-bats tonight. Aside from the results in the at-bats, what – is an indicator to you when you're at the plate that you're back feeling good in a particular bat? Uh, there's a lot of things that go into it. Uh, how you see the ball, the decision-making, pitches you're swinging at, pitches you're, you're checking off on, um, and then finding barrels. And, um, you know, I, I felt like I was in the best position I've been in all postseason tonight to swing when I wanted to swing and, and check off on pitches when I wanted to check off minus maybe the, the three, two cutter that, that I chased out of the zone against Morton, my third at bat. Thanks GT.